Black sleeve jacket in front. My Drogo in second place. Asked for a big leap and he landed just over a length behind in second place. So approaching the home turn. Two plain fences to jump. Harry Skelton switches My Drogo up on the outside to come now and begin to mount his challenge to Gin on Lime as they come towards the home turn. The pair of them are together. On the left in the grey jacket, My Drogo just maybe taking a slender lead to Gin on Lime, which is battling away in second place there on the right hand side as they move to the second. Second last, there'll only be a neck between them here. My Drogo over it safely. Uh, on he does goes, and Gin on Lime has come to a standstill, but Rachel Blackmore stayed on board. Now she needs to get going here to collect the prize as My Drogo then uh, slithers on landing at the second last fence. Gin on Lime comes to the last now. She's up and over safely and will now complete in her own time. Although the loose horse, My Drogo, is going to beat her to the winning post. Unfortunately, with Harry Skelton not in board, it won't count. So, Gin Online, this is victory number six of her career, her fifth, fifth victory over fences, and Gin Online finishes alone. In the blink of an eye, this match of a novice chase went from being something that threatened to be quite compelling to something that was while absorbing in a wholly different and rather less satisfactory way. My Drogo fell two out, Gin on Lime all but fell two out, and she clambered her way thereafter to the line to finish alone for Rachel Blackmore and Henry de Bromhead. Well, well, for all the wrong reasons, or many of the wrong reasons, this was a talking point beforehand. And the race, I'm afraid, is going to be a talking point for very many of the wrong reasons after. Gin on Lime it is that has won at 7-4 to four and has finished alone. And he didn't really jump no. the fence badly. He just didn't no. get the landing gear down efficiently enough. No, that's, that's what's happened to him. As you can see it from here, he's, he's brushed through it, but it's just, just that false step, can't quite get himself organised. Now, you know, that, the winner has all but fallen, but it technically it didn't. It, she stayed on it. It, found, it got back up on its feet, having just slithered and looked for all the world as if it had fallen. She's entitled to do that. Oh, look at this. My Drogo has actually measured that fence perfectly, and he's just half stumbled after the line. And Gin on Lime's made a worse error. She, uh, she has. And has somehow, somehow, she's got to her feet with Rachel Blackmore on board. Dan Skelton is very kindly uh, going to chat to us here on Racing TV after the fall of My Drogo. What a shame. It was just going so well. Yeah, it was. He jumped the fence fine and just knuckled knuckled on landing and then slid. And you saw what happened. I was delighted with him the whole way around. He jumped beautifully. He was a bit big at a couple, uh, a couple down the back. The first ditch he was big at. The, the next plane he was big at. Jumped the, jumped the ditch at the top of the hill better than the mare. Come on the bridle. Yeah. He'd have won. Yeah. We all know that. Um, but at least he's all right. I'm, I'm totally relaxed about it. I'm frustrated that he's ended up not completing a race, and that goes on his record. But you know that doesn't mean he's any lesser horse. He'd have cantered up the straight, and you know they've gone a nice strong gallop, which is unusual in a two-horse race. Fair play to Rachel staying on because yes. she made a similar mistake. Um, that's racing. Move your, on. Your horse is back here in the background. Um, Harry Skelton wanted to. Your brother wants to walk in with him. I'll go and ch check. He's all right now as well, but. These, these things happen. I noticed when he slid, he, all the legs went in the best direction for when you, your horse slides. He'd be sore, no doubt, for a day or two, but um, we'll get him back and he'll be fine. Okay. I'm not, I, I, you know, forget the slide. The rest of it was really good. He jumped great. Okay, he hasn't completed, um, but that can happen at that jump as well. Mm. So it's a tricky. Wherever they put yeah, it, it's tricky. Exactly, isn't it? it can happen. I'm not, I'm not worried. Disappointed, but not worried. Okay. Well, I hope he's fine yeah. in the morning. I think there's Perfect. plenty of promise there. Thanks, Cheers. Sam. Thanks. Rachel Blackmore, the winner on Gin on Lime in quite extraordinary circumstances. Has anything like that ever happened to you before? No, it was an incredible race the way it worked out. And uh, yeah, she's just such an honest mare to get up and, and, and gallop, uh, gallop over the line. Um, yeah, kind of hard to, to process it right now, I think. Did Henry, Henry was saying that that wasn't quite her? He felt yeah, maybe one way too many? Yeah, I was never happy really anywhere. She was jumping a bit right and low and never got into any kind of a rhythm. Um, but yeah, look. Uh, luck was on our side today, I think. Did you feel beaten at the time of the mistake? Um, when Harry joined me turning in, I thought he was going to go by me and he didn't. Um, so she, she was going to battle a bit anyway, definitely. Um, but 
Look, who knows? Now, I think I know the answer to this question because you're such a fierce competitor and you're totally within the rules, but it, did it ever cross your mind to pull her up after her, no, she was down her knees? No, not at all. Uh, no, not at all. She, um, she cr crumpled a little but popped straight back up and, and didn't, feel, didn't feel tired under me. You know, broke straight back into a canter and cantered down over the last, um, cantered all the way up the line. No, it actually didn't cross my mind at all. Um, she, uh, she, she was happy to, to go forward when I asked her. She's very honest to react yeah, like that, honest. isn't she? Yeah. Well, best Thank of luck, you. congratulations.